Yeah, and welcome to the stage your local Irishman, Mr. Jerry Thompson. Hello, hello, thank you very much. It's very nice to be here, isn't it? What a great crowd of people. I um, suffered a lot from depression in the 1970s, and I don't now, uh, but I'm not normal. <laughs> I've uh, become a Buddhist. I'm not a very good Buddhist. I suffer from high self-esteem <laughs> and many other faults. I'm, I'm sometimes self-effacing, but not in a very convincing way. I'm kind of deeply superficial, really. Um, thinking of my many faults does make me think about my mum, um, who reminded me of them a lot, uh, bless her, and left me with some very strong messages about life and how life can be lived or is very difficult to live. She would she'd leave me with messages like, you know, money doesn't grow on trees, Life is very uh, miserable, hard, and short. <laughs> and when you grow up, you won't have any friends. <laughs> she was right about that one. <laughs> However, I'm fond of my mum. I love her deeply. And when she passed away, she left me a lot of money, which unfortunately I had to spend on therapy. <laughs> The, the toughest thing for me is, is when I go out to a dinner party. Have you had this experience? And um, people just don't serve up the food. You know, you're getting really hungry. Anybody had that experience? And you're getting hungry and hungrier, and they're, they're not even thinking about food. They're kind of talking to each other, and nobody's in the kitchen. And I'm getting low blood sugar, and I'm drinking a lot. And I'm, you know, uh, an empty stomach, and I'm saying things that Buddh Buddhists really shouldn't say, like, where is the food. <laughs> so what I sometimes do is I, I kind of bring some of my sabbatay knife with me and I, what I do, I take, go into the kitchen and I, I work out what they were cooking and I kind of get it going and serve it up, you know. And I've noticed people don't like that. <laughs> so, um, so, you know, so if I, in an extreme situation where it's getting very, very late and food's not joined, what I do is I create a hostage situation. <laughs> And this usually helps. I take a few hostages upstairs, I make a video showing some hostages saying if the food isn't served within, you know, 25 minutes, I'm going to, somebody is going to be volovond or goujond or, or, or else, what is it, cocovan, that's a good dish in circumstances. That usually produces some results. Um, but I notice I'm not getting so many invitations to dinner these days, you know. So, Anyway, well, at least I'm not impressed. Uh, well, I never said I was perfect, did I? So thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye.